Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring. The house of David that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Back at you with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. And jumping straight into this article, this is from the JerusalemPost.com. The title it reads, One Wrong Move. Tehran Times reveals Iran's targets in Israel. It says, a quote rocket alert map displaying a list of targets Iran would strike, including pins in Lebanese territory and on Palestinian cities. Okay. So this was in the Iranian newspaper, as you can see. Okay. Just one wrong move. Okay. And your ass is out of there is what they saying. And these are the threats and rumors of war. Okay. Let's get that. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 46. And it reads, it says, unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land. A rumor should both come one year and after that in another year should come a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler. OK, so these are the rumors that are being heard in the land. OK, and according to Bible prophecy. The land of Israel is going to be cleansed with thermonuclear fire. OK. The land of Israel is going to be touched. All right. These 1948ers are about to go down, man. OK. This is all the building up to that point. So Iran has the. Uh, the missiles and the rockets ready. Aimed at Jerusalem, aimed at aimed at Israel. OK. This is a big deal here. All right. Reading on. It says. An Iranian newspaper published a map on Wednesday threatening Israel with missile attacks. The map shows pins representing rocket alerts for dozens of potential targets, including Lebanese territory and Palestinian cities in the West Bank. It says the map published on the front page of the Tehran Times. OK, so this was on the front page of the Iranian newspaper. It says was part of an article headline. Quote, just one wrong move. It says, quote, an intensification of the Israeli military threats against Iran seems to suggest that the, Zion the Zionist regime has forgotten that Iran is more capable, more than capable of hitting them from anywhere, wrote the paper, adding, adding it, it quote, doesn't need to remind the illegitimate regime. Uh, a regime of Israel of Iran's defense capabilities, you see. Reading on. It said. The article ended with a 2013 quote by Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei warning that Iran would, quote, destroy Tel Aviv and Haifa if Israel makes a mistake and conducts a military strike. It says the threat comes as Israel and the U.S. advance preparations for a military option should negotiations in Vienna to return to the JCPOA nuclear deal fail. It says a massive IDF drill mimicking a strike on Iran is reportedly planned for next year. All right, man, 2022. OK, but let's get the scripture. OK. All right. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, chapter 49 and verse 20, and it reads, it says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, that he have taken against Edom. And his purposes that he had proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. OK, you 1948ers in the land of Israel, it says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out surely surely he shall make the inhabitants desolate with them you see so the 1948ers okay they're going to draw america into world war three okay because 
once this goes down, once uh, Iran new, uh, uh, unleashes those those missiles, it's going to force uh, uh, Babylon America to get involved. All right. And we know that Iran is allies with Russia. So everything is moving according to prophecy, as I always say. OK, this thing is getting ready to go down. The rumors of war, we're getting closer, closer and closer to that great day of destruction. So the least of the, the least of the flock okay is going to draw them out these 1948ers are going to draw Babylon and America into this into this war of Armageddon okay because the land of Israel will be touched right let's get this too getting straight to the point this is Luke chapter 21 and verse 24 let's get that real quick okay it's Luke chapter 21 verse 24 and it reads it says and they shall fall by the edge of the sword all right because Israel was conquered by the Roman army in 70 AD. Okay? They fell to the Romans. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, all right? The scattering of Israel. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, the heathen, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, all right? So over in the in the land of Israel, okay, you have the 1948ers, you have Ishmael, all right, you have Hamites pretty much occupying the land of Israel. Okay, the heathen. It says, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, right? So we're, we're approaching that time where the Gentiles, the times of the Gentiles are going to be fulfilled, meaning Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to come back and destroy these heathen out of the Holy Land. All right? And part of that destruction is going to be what? Through the missiles. OK. The land of Israel is going to be cleansed with that thermonuclear fire. So we're vastly approaching that time, the time where these heathen are going to be uprooted out of the Holy Land, out of the land of Israel. Right. Let's get this too. Straight to the point, Ezekiel 38. And um, start at verse seven, Ezekiel 38, verse seven it says, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Thou and all the company, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. All right, so Russia is going to be a guard to these nations like Iran, okay, Turkey, and all these nations that have formed alliances with them, okay. And they're gonna get they're gonna get ready to prepare war for the West and also Israel, okay. Israel is gonna be touched too, the land of Israel, all right. Verse 8, Ezekiel 38, verse 8, it says, After many days thou shalt be visited, and the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have always been waste, which been always waste, which is but since 70 AD. But is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them, right? Because we're coming in that time, all right, where that land of Israel is going to be invaded. All right. And it's going to get hit uh, uh, by those missiles. Right. Verse nine, it says, thou shalt ascend, thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou should be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Right. Because that land is going to be invaded. OK. And it's also going to get hit with those 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 missiles, those rockets. All right. As we're seeing. OK. These rumors of war. Iran, the, the, the Iranians have different parts of Israel already targeted to launch missiles at, right? Verse 10, it says, Thus saith the Lord power, Yahbashim Awashai, it shall also come to pass that, that the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. There we go. And part of that evil thought is what? Sending those missiles. So not only is America, Babylon going to get hit, but the land of Israel is going to get hit too. All right. That's part of that evil thought. Right. Just just one wrong move, man. This place is about to get smoked, man. You know, but it's all prophecy. OK. So I just want to bring that out. You know. Once again, we're closer than ever. And like I said, man, 2022 is going to bring a lot of a lot of hell, man, a lot of things, you know. But I pray that this quick lesson was edifying. Just wanted to bring it out. 
giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring. All right. A shalom to the next one.